Let's balance the redox reaction for Cu plus HNO3. We end up with CuNO32, NO, and H2O. We're going to use the ion electron method, also called the half reaction method, to balance this. First thing we do, we write the oxidation numbers. I've already done that. If you need help, there's a link in the description of this video to help you do that. From there, we can write the half reactions. So let's do that. So for the half reactions, if you look at the copper, you go from zero to two plus, this is a bigger number. So it's been oxidized. You also see that there's oxygens added to this side of the half reaction. Down here in this half reaction, the nitrogen goes from plus five over to plus two. This is a smaller number. This has been reduced. Also see that there are fewer oxygen atoms. After we have our half reactions, we're going to balance each half reaction. So first off, we'll balance the atoms. We have copper and copper, that's good, but then we have these two nitrates here. So we need to put some nitrates over here. What we could do is just add some more nitric acid, HNO3, because really these are all the reactants. So they're in the test tube together or the beaker together to start with. So we can put more HNO3 here. In fact, we need two of them because the two nitrates here, that'll balance the two nitrates here. So that's all good. Down here, we're not worried about hydrogen or oxygen, and the nitrogens, they're balanced on each side. So we've balanced the atoms now. And this adding the extra nitric acid here to get the nitrates, that's usually where people have problems with this. You could do it at the end, but I like to do it first here so everything's clear. Let's balance the oxygen atoms. We have two times three is six. Two times three is six. Those are balanced. Three here and one here. So we're gonna add water, two water molecules. Now we have two times one, that's two, plus the one here, three, that balances the three. Next up, we'll balance the hydrogen atoms by adding hydrogen ions, H plus. So I can see here I have two hydrogen ions and none here. I'm gonna add two hydrogen ions here. Down here, I have two times two is four, and I have one. So let's add three hydrogen ions here. So now the hydrogens are balanced. Finally, we're going to balance charge, the number of electrons. So we're going to add electrons. I have a two plus here, so I'll add a two minus, two electrons. Zero on this side, net charge on here, zero. Here I have three plus, let's add three electrons. So the net charge here is zero, net charge here is zero. So we've balanced the half reactions at this point. Finally, to write the redox reaction for Cu plus HNO3, the copper and the nitric acid, we need to balance the overall equations for charge, and then we're gonna simplify the half reactions and we'll be done. So think of it this way. These are the reactants here, and these are the products. So if we look at it, we have three electrons here and only two here. So that's not balanced. We need to balance that. The way we do that is we're gonna multiply the top, this whole thing here, by three, because three times two, that'll give us six electrons. Then down here, we multiply everything by two, two times three, that'll give us six electrons. So we'll balance the electrons. What we have to do now is we need to multiply three times everything here and three times everything here to get our redox reaction for Cu plus HNO3. Then we simplify. Let's do that. And to be clear, this first line here, the reactants, that's this part right here. And then the products, these over here, we have three times this and two times that, and that gives us this bottom line. So now we can simplify. I have six electrons in the reactants and the products, six hydrogen ions, both sides. And then I can combine the two HNO3 with the six HNO3. That'll give me eight. Let me clean this up. And this is our balanced redox reaction for copper plus nitric acid. You can see that the charge on this side here is zero. Total charge is zero here. Charge is balanced. And if you count these atoms up, they're all balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced redox reaction for Cu plus HNO3. Thanks for watching.